In the nation's capital, where President Bola Tinobo has directed the National Economic Council, led by Vice President Kashim Shetima, to begin its monthly meeting and come up with a wholesome approach towards improving the economy. President Tinobo spoke when the Nigeria Governors Forum visited him at the villa. The president also met with major oil marketers who declared their support for the full implementation of the removal of petrol subsidy. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports on activities at the presidential villa. President Bola Tinubu's first assignment of the day was to swear in Senator George Akume as the secretary to the government of the Federation. This is one of the first major appointments in the Tinubu presidency and it is expected to give traction to his administration. Senator Akume is pleased to have been appointed to serve and has committed to playing his role to ensure the success of President Tinubu's government. I am someone who has been on the scene uh, for quite some time. And if you know the woman we are serving, I say, what you bola me, Tinubu as president, you just have to follow his footsteps. He has never been in the gallery. You know, the galleries, according to Roosevelt, are full of critics. He has always been in the arena, down in the arena, according to Roosevelt. At the doors, he's always a door. And so we have to tag along. We must never afford to fail. The president met with the Nigeria Governors Forum, a critical group whose partnership he will find valuable as he presides over the affairs of the country. It was also the first time Mr. President and the Governors Forum will come face to face after his inauguration. They have thrown their weight behind the removal of fuel subsidy and other policies of the government. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Another meeting, this time with the Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria. Again, another endorsement of the administration's implementation of the fuel subsidy removal. This group also appreciates President Tinubu's clear understanding of the issues in the petroleum sector and his action plan on fixing the problem. The major oil marketers committed to supporting the federal government's interventions to cushion the hardship caused by the removal of fuel subsidy by providing mass transit buses that will run on compressed natural gas. We all collectively agree that we're going to work at providing real mass transit buses that work, the ones that will run on CNG, which is the compressed natural gas and diesel interchangeably. And hopefully we're going to start with about 50 to 100, and that is in the very, very short term. And then, and these are locally produced, so you see that we're also providing jobs, a lot more jobs, because we're using local assembly plants. Subsidy removal is gradually getting the strong backing needed for the complete implementation of a policy that will turn around the petroleum sector and rub off on the country's economy. One of President Bolatinobu's first steps in office was to acknowledge the problems and bottlenecks that have slowed down national growth and development. What will stand him out is how he navigates through these challenges as time begins to count. Femi Akonde. TVC News, Abuja.